Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see a numerical on rate analysis for damp proof cross. In short it is called as DPC work and the thickness given here will be 2.5 cm. So first let's see what is the problem statement. It says prepare a rate analysis for damp proof course that is DPC. 2.5 cm thick in cement mortar and the proportion here is 1 is to 2 is to 4. So let's solve this numerical. First we have to calculate the materials which will be required for DPC work and here the proportion is given for the DPC work cement mortar, cement concrete proportion is given but the quantity of work is not given. So I will be taking 100 meter square of DPC work. So for 100 meter square of DPC work we will be calculating the cost and finally we will divide it by 100 meter square to get our uh, per meter square cost of DPC work. So first calculate the quantity of cement uh, cement concrete which will be required for the this DPC work. So the quantity of cement concrete will be area of uh, DPC work into thickness of DPC area it is assumed as 100 meter square and the thickness of DPC is given it is 2.5 centimeter so in meter it will be 0 0.025 so this area that is 100 into 0 0.025 will give you 2.5 meter cube and it is nothing but weight volume of cement concrete this is the weight volume of cement concrete which will be required for the DPC work now we have to convert this into the dry volume or dry concrete which will be required for the DPC work. So dry volume of concrete required for the DPC work will be 52% more of weight volume. Remember this. Dry volume required will be 52% more of weight volume. So 52 for 52% more I will be multiplying it by 1.52. So this 2.5 meter cube into 1.52 will give you 3.80 meter cube. This is the dry volume of concrete. Now let's calculate first the volume of cement. The formula for that will be dry volume divided by sum of proportion into proportion of cement. Dry volume we have calculated it is 3.80 meter cube divided by sum of proportion. The proportion given in the problem statement is 1 is to 2 is to 4. So the sum of proportion will be 1 plus 2 plus 4 into proportion of cement. See it is 1 is to 2 is to 4. 1 means the proportion of cement, 2 means the proportion of sand and 4 means the proportion of coarse aggregate. So it is it has to be multiplied by proportion of cement for the calculation of volume of cement. So proportion of cement is 1. So which comes as 0 0.5428 meter cube. This is the volume of cement. We have to convert this into number of bags of cement. So number of bags of cement for number of bags of cement the formula will be volume of cement divided by one bag of cement and remember this volume of one bag of cement is 0 0.035 meter cube if the volume if the bag of cement is of 50 kg so volume of cement we have calculated it is 0 0.5428 divided by volume of one bag of cement one, one bag of cement volume will be 0 0.035 so which gives you 15.51 bags so 15.51 bags will be required for the DPC work then I will calculate the volume of sand formula will again be same dry volume divided by sum of proportion into proportion of sand will be taken dry volume is 3.80 divided by sum of proportion will again 1 is to 2 is to 4 it so therefore 1 plus 2 plus 4 into proportion of sand here is 2 so which gives you 1.09 meter cube of sand and last we have to also calculate the volume of aggregate so that for that will the formula will be dry volume divided by sum of proportion into proportion of aggregate dry volume is 3.80 divided by sum of proportion will again same 1 plus 2 plus 4 into proportion of coarse aggregate is 4 so which gives you 2.171 meter cube of coarse aggregate now we have calculated the quantities of cement sand and aggregate we will also have to add waterproofing material because this is DPC the name itself says it is damp proof course we have to provide this course to protect the dampness protect it from the dampness 
so it is a damp proof course means we have will have to add waterproofing material generally doctor fix it powder or chemicals you can use so i will be using doctor fix it powder and it is nothing but a waterproofing material so generally it is taken as 1 kg per bag of cement so the number of bags are 15.51 you can take it around figure uh, 16 number say let us consider it as 16 number of bags are there for example so 1 kg per bag will be for 16 uh, number of bags there will be 16 kg of waterproofing material so total waterproofing material required will be 1 kg per bag of cement there are 15.51 number of bags so i will be taking 16 number of bags say so for that the waterproofing material will be 16 kg now we have calculated the quantities of materials let's make a table like this to calculate the cost of materials it will look like this material quantity rate per an amount the cement quantity we have calculated as 15.51 bags then sand quantity 1.09 meter cube coarse aggregate quantity 2.171 meter cube and waterproofing material as 60 kg 16 kg then rate is 250 rupees per bag for cement for sand it is 2000 rupees per meter cube for coarse aggregate i am taking the rate as 1800 rupees per meter cube and waterproofing material i am taking it as 70 rupees per kg you can take it as per your locality what is the rate of cement sand coarse aggregate waterproofing material in your locality you can simply or you can simply refer district schedule rate book that is dsr book and from that you can refer uh, as per your district district schedule rate book so i will be taking this rate and am um, for the amount for the calculation of amount i will be multiplying quantity by its rate so quantity we have calculated the cement quantity as 15.51 bags rate per bag of cement is 250 rupees so quantity into rate will be amount so that gives you 3877 rupees 50 paisa for the cement bags then for sand 1.09 into 2000 will give you 2180 rupees for coarse aggregate 2.171 into 1800 will give you total amount 3907 rupees 80 paisa and for 16 kg of waterproofing material the rate i am taking it as 70 rupees per kg so which gives you 1120 rupees so this is the calculation of amount for various materials now let's add them together to get our total cost of materials so after addition of all this it will give you 11085 rupees 30 paisa that is the total cost of materials that will be required for the dpc now the next step is to calculate the cost of labors so for 100 meter square of dpc work head mason required will be 1 mason required will be 3 male mazdoor required will be 7 female mazdoor required will be 6 bisti required will be 2 and i am also adding sundries a lump sum amount of 1000 rupees see this number of labors which will be required for a particular item of work you can take it as per the experiences you have to take it from your experiences how much will be the quantity of labors that will be required for various uh, items of work for dpc i will be taking this quantity as per my experience you can take it as per your experience or you can refer uh, various books the quantity may be same or there may be slight difference in the quantities or you can just refer these values so for rate of head mason i will be taking 1000 rupees per day and per day means it will be for 8 hours then for mason it will be 600 rupees per day for male mazdoor it will be 500 rupees per day female mazdoor it will be 400 rupees per day and for bisti i am taking 500 rupees per day bisti here means it will be a water carrier so for the calculation of amount i have multiplied quantity by its rate for example for head mason quantity is 1 and the rate of head mason is 1000 rupees so which gives you 1000 rupees total amount for mason the number of masons are 3 rate of mason is 600 so 3 into 600 will give you 1800 so you can similarly calculate the various amounts that will be required for various labors and i have also added sundries as lump sum amount of 1000 rupees into the 
cost of labor itself and sundries means those pity or miscellaneous items that cannot be mentioned separately but they has to be added or they may arise at the time of construction so i will be adding lump sum amount of that 1000 rupees let's add them together to find out the total cost of labors so the total cost of labors will be 10700 rupees now we have calculated the cost of material cost of labor let's add them together to get the total cost of material and labor so the total cost of material was 11085 rupees 30 paisa and cost of labor was calculated we have calculated it as 10700 rupees so adding this will give you 21785 rupees 30 paisa this is the total cost of material and labor then we will also have to add 10% as contractor's profit in rate analysis itself so 10% of this total cost of material and labor will be 10% of this that is 21785 rupees 30 paisa so 10% of this will be 2178 rupees 50 paisa now we will also have to add 1.5% as water charges so 1.5% of this 21785 rupees 30 paisa will give you 327 rupees we have calculated now the cost of material cost of labor 10 percent contractor profit we have also added we have also added one one and a half percent water charges now let's add them together to get the grand total this grand total is nothing but total amount which will be required for 100 meter square of plus uh, dpc work so adding them together will give you 24,290 rupees 80 paisa. This is the grand total or total amount which will be required for the DPC work. And the thickness given was 2.5 centimeter and the area was 100 meter square. We have assumed the area is 100 meter square. So, for 100 meter square of area of DPC work, this much amount will be required that is 24,290 rupees 80 paisa. Now, let's convert this into per meter square because we want this in per meter square so for the calculation of per meter square i will be dividing it by the area of dpc area of dpc we have assumed in the first step as 100 meter square so let's divide this 24290 rupees uh, 80 paisa by 100 meter square of area so which gives you 243 rupees so this 243 rupees is nothing but a rate of dpc damp proof course in cement mortar 2.5 centimeter thick it is a per meter square cost of dpc and it is 2 243 rupees so this was the video about calculation of rate analysis of damp proof course in cement mortar and the thickness given was 2.5 centimeter thick thank you